Okay, I just wanted to give you guys a just a short rundown of the very first step when it comes to porting a cylinder and how easy it is to mess up a cylinder when you call yourself porting. You have to have one of these. You have to have one of these. You can look up online how to set it. That's how I got my pointer. Just a paper clip on the clutch. But you have to have a degree wheel. Drill it out to seven and a half, eight millimeter in the center and it bolts right onto the magneto. And if you got it set right, this is how you mark your cylinders out. But do you see that? 160 exhaust, 124 transfers. That's 18 degrees below now. That's a good low end power cylinder. Gonna work great for someone using a stock pipe. Gonna set it up for revalve. I think it's non re, but I'm gonna set it up revalve. Gonna drop that all the way down. Raise it up a bit for the boost port. Then, depending on the squish, I'm gonna most likely have to jack it down. But you see how minuscule that line is above the actual port? Let me focus. See how, how that's maybe a millimeter, two millimeters. It's not much. And if you think you're just gonna go in there and start opening stuff up, you're gonna have a turd on your bike that's gonna run probably slower than it did when you had it stopped. So, don't just think you're gonna take a Dremel, open up your cylinder, and go fast. It's not how it works. Peace, more videos to come. MZ65 for sale if anyone needs it.